Welcome to the Akunir exploration tool. In this video, we will focus on the presence detector and how you can configure it for optimal radar performance. To start the measurement with the presence detector, you click Start measurement. When you are satisfied with your measurement, you press Stop. If you want to view your configuration in the resource calculator, you press this button. Uh, the presence detector consists of two parts. One part for fast motion detection and one part for slow motion detection. These two can be used separately or together. Let's go through the detector parameters. First, we have the range start and the range end. You set the range for which you are interested in measuring presence detection. Remember not to set the range longer than needed since it gives a higher power consumption and can give unwanted effects. By default, the profile is set based on your chosen start range. It will automatically set the highest profile that doesn't measure into the direct leakage. This is to optimize SNR. The step length, in turn, is set based on the profile. The pulse length for the different profiles differ, so the step length is set as big as possible to measure as few points as possible, but still get an even detection in the complete range. This is to minimize current consumption. Both the profile and the step length can be overridden. The frame rate is important for the reaction time and the SNR. A higher frame rate gives better performance, but it also has a large effect on the power consumption. The sweeps per frame and HWAS also have big effect on SNR. Higher values means better performance, but also increases power consumption. This is why it's often a trade-off for getting good performance and a low power consumption. Interframe idle state sets the radar state between frames. Deep sleep is the lowest state where most of the radar shuts off. Ready is the highest state where most of the radar hardware is kept on. Now we come to a tick box for enabling fast motion detection. This is called intermotion detection because we are looking at differences inside the frames. This detection type detects if you, for example, are walking towards the sensor. The first parameter for this part is the threshold value. This sets the overall sensitivity and should be set off to your noise floor. Intratime constant adjusts a low pass filter which is applied per distance point. The output is the maximum intra presence score over the range. This value is also low pass filtered and that filter is controlled with the intra output time constant. Uh, next we come to the tick box for enabling the slow motion detection which is called intermotion detection, because here we are looking at changes in between frames. We also have a tick box for enabling phase boost. This enhances detection of very slow motions, as for example if someone is sitting very still and breathing. For this part we also have a threshold to set the overall sensitivity. The interfast cutoff frequency and the inter-slow cutoff frequency sets the bandpass filter for the presence detector. It means that the frequency that you are interested in should be between these two values. Remember that the cutoff frequency cannot be larger than the Nyquist frequency. The intertime constant adjusts the low pass filter that is applied per distance point. And the inter output time constant adjusts the low pass filter for the output, which is the maximum value in the measured range. Lastly, we have the presence timeout. This is a good parameter to use if you want to have slow filters in your processing to get a stable presence detection, but have faster loss of detection when someone leaves the detection area. If the presence score decreases for the set timeout period, the score will drop faster until an increase is detected in the score. In the middle section of the UI, we have the graphs. This graph shows the fast motion detection score with its chosen threshold. This graph shows the same thing, but for the slow motion detection. The bottom graph shows the presence scores per distance point, which is the step before the output low pass filter. Thank you for watching.